Hi everyone, how are you going tonight? Um, someone asked me to make a video on Curve Tech, so here we go. This is the downloaded version of Canvas Workspace, and these are all the free projects that are in the Canvas Project tab that Brother have provided. They've also got uh, paid, paid designs that you can purchase from them. And you can see there's a little activate. Uh, Red activate button there so once you've purchased you can activate those designs got lots of lacy patterns they're very pretty but of course if you're just looking for free ones um, that the in the canvas project section is great so in this section I'll just tidy this up a little bit so you can see it a little bit better in this section we're going to find a uh, circle or a uh, oval so you can choose whatever shape art arch you would like so obviously a circle will make a bigger, more arched shape. I'm going to go for an oval shape. Scroll down. You can, you can choose any of these shapes. There's a circle in this section here in the green. But any, any of these shapes you could work your way around. Uh, but we're going to choose the oval shape because that's kind of the shape I was thinking. We'll just move it into the center of the mat here. And we'll make it a little bit bigger. Yeah, slide it in. So the handles, you can grab the handles. The side handles will just make it wider or longer, and the corner handles will take it out a bit more evenly. And we're going to make a single letter and then create another single letter. So this time we're going to do happy. So we'll do a H and click away. That'll bring it up all the handles. I'll click it again. Whoop, I'll just grab the wrong bit of handle. Don't, if you make a mistake, don't worry too much. Just undo. It's okay. It'll fix up. And if you have to undo a couple of times, and grab the little box with your mouse, with your uh, left click of your mouse down and drag it along. And then click roughly where you want your next letter and we'll type A. And click away again. And we'll drag that roughly where we want it. Sort of place it there, click away, grab another letter, we'll grab the P, move that into spot, click away. If you don't click away, it lets you, it wants to keep uh, typing, it's like a little typing box. Just control V, it's copy and paste, control V, control C is um, copy. And control V is paste. Or you can choose the, the uh, menu bar to do it to. We'll put a Y there. So they're all single letters that we can move individually and form a word with. So we've got it roughly on the oval shape where we want them. Just move them around a little bit more. Just fiddle with them until you're happy with how they look. And now we're going to turn them. So at the top there, you can see like a little handle right there. And if you put your mouse over it, it forms, I don't think you can see it very well, but it's got like a little arrow and a, a curl that tells you it's going to curl, curve it. So grab it with your mouse and just Turn it around a little bit, just swivel it around, click away so you can see where it's gone. If you're not quite happy with it, click on it again. And just turn it a little bit more. We'll go with that and then we'll turn the A to so it lines up with the... So really the oval shape is just a template to uh, follow. The P is not bad there, we'll turn that P the other way and the Y. There we go. As I said, you can keep fiddling these, make the distance between them roughly what you would like. If you use your arrow key, it will just move it in small increments in a very uh, straight line, either straight up or straight down. It's a really good way of keeping in alignment if you've got a couple of shapes or letters and you want them to stay on exactly the same line. Saves you having to use your alignment tools to fix them up afterwards. Just arrow them across slowly. Or if you've got a very small increment that you want to 
move something. The arrow is very precise and small. So there's our box. We're going to go into the layer panel, which is that third one down. And you can see the, the various layers we've got. That's the shape layer that matches that one there. You can see it's highlighted in blue. You can see the little picture of the shape there too. Got a couple of options in here. That little knife is the cut, and if you click on it, you get a choice of making this a cut line or a draw line. So you just tick in the box. The next one over is the little eye, and if you click on the eye, you can see it's disappeared. And you click on the eye again, it brings it back. Highlight it again, and on this end one is the lock. So this is a really cool feature. See a little padlock in that blue box now? This locks it down so that won't move. That, that uh, oval shape will not move. So you can move all your shapes around it without any risk of grabbing it or moving it or hooking it up in some way or welding to it or whatever you happen to be doing. Um, it just locks it down until you're ready. And then once you, once you don't want it locked anymore, you just undo it, take the lock off. There we go. And then you can move it again. At the end of this, I would take that circle out and uh, delete the circle. And so you're just left with your shape, your art shape that you want. And you might want to put, I don't know, something else in there, a picture in there or something that you want to do, whatever. So we'll put a B in the bottom. So you would work around, pop a B down here. You could put that on the inside of the arch or the outside. Just flick it over to whichever side you, you want. Makes uh, The difference if you put it on the internal one is you have to be careful how you space the bottoms. You can't have them too close because they're coming inwards together and then they would touch. So you just need to make sure you've allowed enough room. Gives quite a bit different effect than the bottom. Right? It's, a, it's just a matter of choice and what you're happy with. You can fiddle with them these as you like. You can click on each one and you've got like them held together. Go into the edit properties. You can see all your alignment tools. These alignment tools are exactly the same as I showed you in the pictures for the scan and cut on the machine the other day. You've got your left align, your right align, your center. Down the bottom are your distribute, so you've got distribute horizontal, distribute your vertical. So we're going to distribute these vertically. So we've got them all highlighted together, you can see they're all highlighted. If you click on that, if you watch there's the A and the P's just move slightly. And now these would be, have the same distance between each letter. So it gives it a more uniform without Fiddling. If you have them almost right, this works really well. If you've kind of got them all over the place, you may not get the spacing you desire. It will pick the spacing that it thinks you want. It's just a matter of moving a bit closer and doing it, doing the same thing again, and eventually you get it how you want. If you're still not happy, just have a little bit of a fiddle and move them around a little bit more. Just working, working with your design until you, it's how you want it. It's your design, you do it how you want. You can also go in and group or weld these. Uh, the, if you wanted these all interlinked, you would move them closer together so they were just overlapping and then you would weld them together so you could cut them out in one, one shape. Might be wanting to do a cake topper or something along those lines and have them all welded and arched and everything. So anyway, that's just a few ideas for that. Um, also, I never showed you, I'll just get the text box back up. Up the top here is the different fonts. So this version uses the fonts from your PC or your Mac or whichever machine you're using. And these are all the fonts on my machine. As you can see, I'm a bit of a font junkie. <laughs> I like fonts, um, have lots of fun with fonts. So really, uh, this one's so easy to use, to use your fonts in it, uh, because they're your PC fonts. Whereas the online version of Canvas is a little clunkier, so um, this one's probably a bit better. Anyway, that's Curve Text. I hope you enjoyed it.